In September 1935, the British government approved the construction of its first five radar stations. These towers were the start of Great Britain's air defense system known as Chain Home, a network of 20 towers covering the east coast from the Nether Button Station on Orkney Isle off the coast of Scotland to the Ventnor Station on the Isle of Wight. These towers were not a secret to Germany. The Nazis actually sent a Zeppelin in July 1939 to investigate whether the British had a radar defense system. If the Nazis could discover the radio frequency being used, they could disable it by jamming the signal. The radio receivers on the Zeppelin, however, only picked up a deafening low-pitched hum at 50 Hz, even as it traveled up the English coast. German intelligence misinterpreted this continuous hum as interference from the British electrical power grid, which also operated at a 50 Hz cycle. Germany's knowledge of radar also led its scientists to believe radar could only work at wavelengths between one half and three meters. The chain home system operated at 12 meters. Germany's radar worked in narrow beams like spotlights, while Chain Home used its network of overlapping radar signals like floodlights radiating over the English Channel. Though Britain's radar technology was not as advanced as Germany's was at the time, what made Chain Home so effective was a central command center called the Filter Room. This command center gathered and analyzed all the information from the radar stations. With better intelligence, Military commanders launched more targeted air attacks at a larger German air force.